MTHFR Top 10 List of What to Do If You Have a Mutation Number 1. Who Should Get Tested? Everyone should know if they have an MTHFR mutation. You only need to get tested once in your life because DNA will never change. Encourage your entire family to get tested. The most convenient way is a simple saliva test through a brucal swab. Even babies can be tested without pain or discomfort. The most important alleles of the MTHFR are C677T and A1298C. If you have a mutation, you still need to determine the right dosage. Based on what type of SNP, single nucleotide polymorphism you have, a different dosage of methylfolate, short for 5L-methyltetrahydrofolate, is needed. The best types of methylfolate recommended are 5L or 6S. Consult your doctor to find out how much you should be taking. A homozygous mutation will require a higher dosage than a heterozygous. Regardless of the mutation, you should refrain from mega dosages for long periods of time. As always, consult your doctor. To get tested for MTHFR and COMT, request a home test kit from www.mthfr.com. Dozens of conditions have been associated with MTHFR mutations. To find out if a specific condition has been linked to MTHFR, just type the name of the condition in our search box under our research section. We have listed over 12,000 researches. Number 2. Don't try to treat yourself. It sounds tempting. Sometimes your doctor doesn't quite understand and may even dismiss your concern as unimportant. But you know MTHFR is an important factor on your health. You may be tempted to consult Dr. Google. Resist the urge. MTHFR is very complex for even the most trained physician. For a layperson, it's almost impossible to formulate a correct prescription. You may feel momentarily better, but almost certainly you'll feel your body breaking down again in a short period of time. Consult a healthcare practitioner that specializes in MTHFR and you feel a connection with. Listen to your gut feeling and form a partnership with a practitioner. Follow one person at a time, unless they're working together as a team. Many MTHFR practitioners have different approaches to health. There's more than one pathway to achieve results. By switching from one method to another and back again, will disrupt the healing process. Stick with one person for a period of time. If you don't get any results in a couple of months, then you may consider switching. If you do switch, stick with the next person for at least a couple of months. Following one method at a time will give you the best chances of success. To find a qualified MTHFR practitioner, go to our directory. We have a comprehensive list to help you. Number 3. Healthy gut is the key. 80% of your immune system is in your gut. Over 90% of serotonin is located in the gut. Because your gut is unable to produce certain nutrients on its own, you need a supplement. One of the best ways to make sure your gut is healthy is by eating fermented food and homemade broth. Do not use canola oil or corn oils as they are likely genetically modified. In order to absorb the foods that are rich in folate, your digestion needs to be working properly. You are not what you eat, you are what you are able to absorb. And that is also true when taking supplements. If your digestive system is not functioning well, you will not fully absorb the supplements you are taking. Supplements differ from food because unlike foods, what you are not able to metabolize may become endogenous toxins and your body will need to expel and detoxify. If you are already having problems with methylation, and methylation governs intracellular detoxification, before considering adding supplements, make sure your gut is healthy and your digestive system is up to the task of metabolizing what you are taking. Otherwise, it may overwhelm your methylation even more. Try acupuncture. One of the most powerful tools to fix your gut is Chinese medicine, acupuncture and Chinese herbs. In most cases, the first step to correcting methylation is to start by healing the gut. Without a properly functioning gut, it will be hard to achieve long-term results. Number 4. Avoid Folic Acid MTHFR is responsible for the metabolization of all types of folate, including folic acid. If you have a mutation, it means that your function and metabolization of folic acid may be diminished. Any unmetabolized nutrient will become endogenous toxic material for your body to detoxify, including unmetabolized folic acid. It is imperative that you replace folic acid for methylfolate to bypass your MTHFR mutation. 
If your doctor prescribes your folic acid, you must discuss this with your doctor. Make sure your doctor is well versed in MTHFR and methylation. Avoid processed foods as they may contain folic acid. Number five, optimize your diet. Increase the amount of leafy greens you eat. Make sure everything you purchase is organic. One of the major functions of methylation is detoxification and a mutation on MTHFR will likely affect your methylation. By consuming only organic products, you'll reduce the amount of toxins going inside your body. The foods where people get most of their toxins from are vegetables. If it's not labeled organic, the chances are the product has been sprayed with pesticides and your body will absorb the toxins. Leafy greens contain large amounts of folate, which is very beneficial for MTHFR patients. Anyone with an MTHFR mutation should include green leafy vegetables in all meals. Make sure you have the following foods in your diet. Beef liver, beans of any type, lentils, spinach, asparagus, lettuce, especially romaine, avocado, broccoli, tropical fruits, especially mangoes, and oranges. Number six, eliminate all forms of toxicity. Because the MTHFR makes you susceptible to environmental toxins, it is important to keep your surroundings as clean as possible. Chemicals present in plastic or cleaning products can prove to be very harmful for people with MTHFR mutations. Reduce your use of plastics, especially in items that touch your food. Use all natural cleaning products. House plants can help clean your home's air. When dealing with toxicity, the solution is twofold. Eliminate or reduce toxic exposure and optimize methylation. Eliminate toxins from food. Read Chapter 5. Avoid regular cosmetics. There are over 200 chemicals in cosmetics. Whenever possible, choose a brand of organic cosmetics. If possible, install a water filter for the house. Our water system also contains over 100 chemicals, including recycled medications like Prozac, estrogen, and more. Our skin is the biggest organ in our body, and toxins absorbed through the skin go right into the bloodstream. Avoid radiation and electromagnetic exposure whenever possible. When going to sleep, turn off your cell phone. Don't leave it charging next to your head. Turn off your computer, including the router. Wi-Fi is constantly broadcasting electromagnetic waves. Avoid stressful situations and people. Emotional toxins are also toxic material. It will break down your body and disrupt methylation. Get rid of that stressful person in your life. Do something that makes you happy once per week. Happiness supports methylation. A good source to help you avoid GMO when you're out grocery shopping is an app called Nextranet for iPhones. The app scans the barcode of the product and gives you the information. Very useful. Number 7. Exercise regularly. A research in Sweden in 2012 has shown that exercise can change DNA methylation. It is suggested that regular exercise may be able to change the entire genome of a person. Three to five times a week is recommended. Although the research shows short-term changes, it does indicate that if you exercise a lot and you make these epigenetic changes, you wouldn't just change short-term expression, but in the long term, change your genome. We all know that exercise is vital for our health, but what research has shown is that it is also vital for our methylation. Since epigenetic changes in our DNA has been shown to pass from one generation to the next, it's even more important to keep a regular exercise routine in order to make those long-term changes to our DNA to change our entire genome. Although no research to date has studied how much exercise is needed based on a heterozygous or homozygous mutation of the MTHFR gene, we suggest that more mutations you have, the more need of exercise. Consult your doctor to discuss what would be the best type of intensity of exercise for your condition. An individualized approach is very important. If you want to lose weight, check your levels of cortisol, as this is a fat-storing hormone. You want to avoid exercising if or when your cortisol levels are above normal, as it will make it harder for you to lose weight. Cortisol fluctuates during the day. Therefore, the most accurate way to test is by checking your cortisol levels four times per day through a saliva test. Request a cortisol test kit at www.mthfr.com and find out what is the best time for you to exercise in order to lose weight. Number 8. Start with supplements, slowly. When trying new supplements, always start slowly and with a low dosage. If you're about to try new supplements, try one at a time for a few days before adding another or increasing the dosage. 
Patients that start with multiple supplements often don't know which one is actually helping. It's better to isolate them so you know which one helped you the most. This is also true for different types of therapy. Choose one to start and after you reach the plateau, you may add the other. With regards to the dosage, when patients start at a high dosage, it may actually throw them into overmethylation. It is always better to increase the dosage gradually to determine the best dosage for you. A high dosage of a supplement can be called a prescription dosage. Nutrients will affect the intended biochemical cycle, but it will also affect hundreds of others you are not aware of. As mentioned in Section 2, don't try to treat it yourself. Let your doctor coach you on how much and what to take. It's more complex than you think. Take B12 for example. Many basic protocols for MTHFR mutation include a combination of methylfolate and B12. However, what most people don't realize is that there are four types of B12. You need to know which one is most suitable for your genome. Not everyone can handle the methylcobalamin, and it may make you feel worse. Let your doctor guide you. Often people with the COMT homozygous mutation won't handle methylcobalamin well. Depending on the mutation, your treatment or supplement intake can vary greatly. If you've done 23andMe or Ancestry.com, you may get your MTHFR and COMT results through our methylation health report. Number 9. Avoid unnecessary medication. Most medication will have a negative effect on methylation. Virtually all medications will deplete a specific nutrient that serves as a cofactor for a particular biochemical process in your body. It is inevitable that the safest medication the lowest dosage will eventually deplete methylation. Discuss with your doctor possible alternatives to the medication. More often than you might think, it is possible to achieve results through proper nutrition and lifestyle. Nutrigenomics, alternative medicine, exercise, meditation, and more. A good resource to find out about what nutrients are being depleted by a medication you're taking is www.mitavin.com. Just type the name of the medication and it'll give you the depleted nutrients. Have you heard of polypharmacy syndrome? Patients that take at least five medications have a 100% chance of developing side effects. The more medications you take, the more disrupted will be your methylation. There are so many alternatives to many common prescribed medications. Consult with your doctor to discuss your options. Number 10. Don't panic and start breathing. MTHFR is a very important gene and its mutations may affect your health in many different ways. Luckily, in most cases, there are many ways to help the body handle the mutations and compensate for the lack of function. Stress is a major biological stressor for the body. If you let stress take over your mind, you'll likely place more burden on your methylation. Take a deep breath. Breathing is one of the most important and neglected part of your health. You can survive 30 days without food, 7 days without water, but no more than 4 minutes without air. Breathe in with your abdomen. As you breathe in, your abdomen should become more full. And as you breathe out, your abdomen empties. Breathe slowly to feel the air slowly nourishing your gut. There are many treatments for MTHFR mutations. Practice yoga breathing techniques. Knowledge is power. MTHFR.com, the ultimate source for optimal health.